Well, hello, YouTube friends. It's Everide's mother. And today we've got a very special episode of the Everide program just for you. Uh, that used to be where he'd go on the dirt to go play. Oh, that's too loud. That's too loud. You need to turn that on now. Let's get, let's get something different. Oh, that's much better. Now, there, he j I just love that introduction video there, except for that gun part. I don't like the guns. They're the devil's work. But Everide wanted to show you his commute that he would normally take, not the one in the dirt, but the one on the road like a civilized person would take. Now, here he is going through downtown Santa Clara, and there's some dumb redneck in his jacked-up truck, and over there, there's a guy starting a fire like a freaking idiot. Here's a sign that says, it looked like that sign said Bodag, and I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I don't know if it's entirely appropriate. Here we've got what looks like a big red wall. Oh no, no, I know where that is. That's, that's the school that he used to work at. That's the school that he, that was a really good job. He really loved it there until those sons of b****s in the government fired him. They didn't really fire him, he did a good job. He just, they just didn't have any money for special education teachers because they run the place like a bunch of sons of There he is, hooling and around. I like to see him do that kind of stuff. Oh, and look, that's, that's a special place. That's called the wash, where all of his students would go and smoke their doobies during his class. Oh, look, there's a big giant Taco Bell school. That was modeled after his 1994 KLR. That's a good school. Oh. Oh dear. Well, that building's just entirely inappropriate. I don't think that's in. That's just not appropriate. The architect of that building needs to get his mind out of the gutter. Oh, oh, I know what this is. This is the dumpster where Everard would get his pizzas from. He had students that worked at the Little Caesars nearby who'd throw, throw away the pizzas at night, and they were only just slightly diseased. So that's where he'd get his pizzas from to feed himself and his family because he's lazy and doesn't want to get a job, so he just gets his pizzas from the dumpster. I guess that's normal in this day and age. And, uh, oh, that to the right, that's a field where there used to be some llamas. And I'm glad he didn't see any llamas that day, because I don't like to see them. I think their creation's the devil. Oh, and what's he doing in the middle of the road like a big dumb idiot? He's like Honey Badger. I guess he doesn't care. Oh, and I know these people. These people were, were singing the song. They were singing a Lady Gaga song in their van. And that was, that was funny. Oh, there's the McDonald's, the local McDonald's in St. George there. He got really bad food poisoning there one time. He had it coming out of both ends, I tell you what. Oh, and look, that sassy wig's for you. That's where he bought my, la my last Mother's Day present. It's just, it, and I tell you, it is sassy, and it was for me, so good job. Now, I don't mean to be culturally insensitive, but that's supposed to say one nail. One nail. Now here we have a, it looks like a dark horse, and um, uh, I always think of that Katy Perry song, coming at you like a dark horse, even though I, th I think she's of the devil, so is that horse, I don't know if you saw it, but it's anatomically correct, that's not appropriate, and uh, it looks like here's the local Best Buy, I've never been in one, but uh, that seems a little bit different than the ones that I'm used to, I thought they sold electronics, that looks kind of more like maybe some methamphetamine. Now look here, it's the Anasazi Steakhouse and Faith Mountain Industries. That's a church on Sunday and a steakhouse the rest of the day, so they got creative with that one. Oh my, now here's something that I do not like. That is a big abomination. That is a, that is a giant idol of a devil worshiper or somebody who's on the meth. That, look at that. For sale for $75,000. One of a kind? Yeah, well no wonder it's one of a kind. It's a giant piece of who would want that? Who? What, what would you do with that? Would you put that in your yard to let everybody else know what a crazy son of a are? That's just not right. I, why doesn't he? You just need to ride away. You're just staring into those big hollow eyes. Uh, that's just, that's a, that's an idol and it's an abomination and I don't like it one bit. You need, just, okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, now look, it's Kyle's Closet. That's one of my favorite places in town. They sell furniture and some fabulous draperies. I just, I love the rainbow logo, and I think there are things kind of witty there. A store for men, by men, and the whole closet reference. I'm sure there's nothing to that, but uh, anyway. Oh, my goodness. That's my son. You almost ran over, you crazy son. Well, that's okay to see that he's okay. I'm glad he's okay. 
Oh, and look here. It's an old gray mare. We've got another plastic horse in front of a store for some reason. I, well, I think that's totally appropriate if you want to bring people into your business. If you've got a horse store or some kind of equestrian thing. Or, oh, uh, that's a Papa Murphy's. Uh, well, that doesn't make any sense at all. That's just stupid. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Unless they're selling horse meat. Oh, look, a biker. Maybe they're on meth. Now here's a here's a well-known St. George landmark. It's a big giant rock, a big red rock that you always see. And uh, ever I'd see that every day on his commute, and it just remind him of all the fun places that he could go riding. So, well, okay then. That looks like it's the end of the ride. About the end of the video. Uh, what a beautiful ride it was, and what how fun it was to have you along with me, Ever Rides Mom. And uh, I think right about now, ever oh look, that's the coyote that has some good Mexican food. That's good food there. I think right about now is where Ever Ride would give his spiel on having you like and subscribe, and uh, you know following his his creations, his video productions on the YouTube. And uh, I don't I don't know if that gives him any money, but if it does, I want you to do it because uh, he's lazy. He's just really lazy. He doesn't have a job. He won't get his off the couch, and he just makes these YouTube videos. So whatever we can do to to support him and help him, I th just think that would be just magical. I th I think it would be just.